Hello everyone, this is Charles Wallingford back again. And what do all those brands have in common? If you know anything about horology, watch collecting, your watch aficionado, watch fan, you would know that they all are connected to Jean-Claude Bivet. Jean-Claude Bivet is a true living legend with the watch industry. Here's a brief history and background on a true legend. In 1975, Jean-Claude first started with Audemars Piguet. This is where Mr. Bivet learned and immersed himself into the watchmaking industry. In 1980, Bivet left for Omega. In 1982, Bivet and old friend Jacques Piguet purchased Blancpain, one of the course crisis many victims, a brand that was not originally a luxury brand. Under Bivet's new leadership, Blancpain developed a new slogan of, since 1735, there has never been a quartz Blancpain and never will be. Blancpain's new life helped pull Swiss watchmaking out of the quartz crisis. In 1992, Bivet sold Blancpain to SSIH, otherwise known as Swatch Group. After selling Blancpain to SSIH, Bivet then returned to Omega and joined Nicholas G. Hayek as SSH's management team member. As a result, Bivet was responsible for making improvements and instrumental to the presence of Omega in the present day 007 movies, making James Bond and Omega Man. 2004, Jean-Claude Bivet joined Hublot as their CEO, bringing new life to an already innovative watch brand. In 2005, at Baselworld, Bivet introduced the highly acclaimed Big Bang. In 2012, Bivet stepped down as CEO and sold Hublot for 200 million Swiss francs to LVMH. In 2014, and currently, Bivet is head of LVMH's watch brands. Okay, watch fans, I hope you liked that video. If you're interested, please look up Mr. Bivet on YouTube. You can also look him, look him up across the internet. Go to Ublo's website. You can go to Audemars PK website. You can go to LVMH. You can go to all those websites and find him. Um, my favorite video that I watch over and over again is Talking Watches with Ariel Adams. He's done, he did a wonderful job with Mr. Bivet and it really opened my eyes and got me uh, into looking into Bivet and then also other historical uh, individuals in watchmaking. This is Charles Wallingford. Get some knowledge, do your research, and then let me know how you would spend your money.